This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin this lesson, click File Open and navigate to the Learning Folder. Change the file type to TIFF and select the Salzburg file. Turn on Embedded Images. Turn off Keep Layers, then click Open. Select the image with the Selection tool. Click the Image Fill tool on the Toolbox toolbar. The Image Fill dialog box will open. Choose Process in the Color Type box. Set the Bits per Pixel and Resolution to your preferred settings and click OK. Select the Border tool from the Construction toolbar. Click and drag a border. Enter 15 for the height and enter 12 for the length, then click OK. Select the image with the Selection tool. Click Shape Absolute Size. Choose Uniform and enter a height of 8.5, then click OK. Click Select All. Click Arrange Justify and choose the Middle and Center Justify buttons, then click OK. Deselect the decorative border. Keep the image selected. Click the lower right triangle of the Image Fill tool to display the flyout toolbar. Click the Crop Image tool. The pointer become a pair of scissors. Click and drag the side handles of the image with the scissor cursor to crop it. Crop the three sides of the image to match the example in the learning guide. Keep the sides of the image slightly larger than the box. This ensures print-to-cut registration. Click Select All. Click Arrange Justify and justify the image and the box again. Click the Toes tool. Choose Albertus from the drop-down list. Enter a height of 0.8 and type Australia's Outback. Press Enter. Enter 0.55 for the height and type an exhibit of Aboriginal art. Press Enter twice. Enter a height of 0.9 and type the Salzburg. Press Enter, then type Museum of Art. Press the up arrow on the keyboard to position the flashing cursor on the Salzburg text. Click the Character Spacing tool. Drag the text equal to the line Museum of Art. Click the Character Spacing tool again to turn it off. Select the top two lines of text with the Selection tool. Click and drag the text to the top of the box. Position it so the text appears centered. Do the same with the other two lines of text at the bottom of the box. Click Select All. Click Arrange Justify and choose Horizontal Center Justify, then click OK. Select the box with the Selection tool. Click the Fill tool to open the Assigned Colors dialog box. Choose Gradient in the Fill Type box and choose Linear from the list. Choose Spot in the Color Type box and enter 90 degrees in Linear Angle. In the Color box, choose Dark Green. Double-click the small white end box on the right side of the position slider to obtain a new color stop triangle. Drag the color stop to the 50% position. Enter 100 for the tint percentage. Choose Royal Reflex to assign that foil to the active color stop. Click the right end box once to make it active. Enter 100 in the tint percentage. Choose Dark Green to assign that foil to the active color stop. Click OK to apply the gradient fill to the box. Select View Filled or press F8 to preview the box colors. We will now change the spot color fills to process color fills. Click the Fill tool to reopen the Assign Colors dialog box. Choose Process in the Color Type box. Click the left end box on the position slider to make it the active color stop. Click the Edit button from the color box. The Color Fill dialog box will open. The CMYK equivalent of dark green spot foil displays. Enter the following new CMYK settings. 75 for cyan, 0 for magenta, 52 for yellow, and 8 for black. Click OK to return to assign fill. Click the right end box on the position slider to make it the active color stop. Click the edit button. Enter the same CMYK settings as you did for the other color and click OK when you are finished. Click the middle color stop only once to make it active. Click Edit. 
the Royal Reflex Spot Color Equivalent displays. Enter the following new CMYK settings. 100 for cyan, 65 for magenta, 0 for yellow, and 35 for black. Click OK when you are finished. Click OK again to apply the fill and return to Composer. Select the box with the Selection tool. Click Arrange to Back. Click View Fill Design View to see the gradient fill in the sign. The text will not appear in this view because no fill colors have been assigned to it yet. To confirm that Gerber Tone Halftone is assigned to the box with a gradient fill, Smart Edit the box and return to the Assign Colors dialog box. Click the Menu button and click Halftone from the list. Confirm that Gerber Tone is the halftone type used in the selection. Click OK to return to the Assign Colors dialog box and again to return to Composer. Smart Edit the imported image to return to the Image Fill dialog box. In Halftone Type, choose Gerber Tone STC Photo. Enter 60 in the LPI box, then click OK to return to Composer. Press F8 to return to Wireframe View. Holding down the Shift key, select each line of text. Click the Fill tool from the Toolbox toolbar. Choose Clear from the Fill Type box. Click Apply to make the color change and keep the Assign Colors dialog box open. Click the Stroke tab to access the stroke information. Choose Solid from the Stroke Type box. Choose Process from the Color Type box. Click the Edit button, enter 100 for the black value and click OK. Enter .035 in the Width text box. Click OK to return to Composer. Press F8 to view the colors in the job. Click Select All. Click the Selection tool. Hold down the Shift key and click the rectangle, not the image, to deselect it. Click Arrange Cuts Off. Click View Filled Output View to preview the job. Save the job as Salzburg.plt in the My Lessons folder when you are finished. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.